All right, this is called The Last to Finish, a story about the smartest boy in math class. I always thought that math was going to be my thing. My dad is an engineer, and he always says that math is the key to success. This is just my luck that the door to success is locked with the math keys. I mess Leonhard and I'm a third grader at Perryville Elementary School. This year has been a bit tough for me because it's the first time that I ever felt I was completely terrible at something. And that doesn't feel so good. The problem started with Mrs. Uh, Topel, our teacher, started using the timer to test us on our multiplication facts. If I take my time, I can get every one of my math facts without any problem at all. The problem comes when I have to finish them in record time, like a sprinter running towards the finish line, hope to break the world record. The timer works just fine for some kids, like David Peterson. He likes to be the first to finish everything. It doesn't work for me. As soon as Mrs. Tapel starts the timer, my heart begins to pound. My hands begin to sweat. And then the worst thing happens. My mind freezes. It happened again today. One by one, my classmates finished their math facts. I knew the answers last night when I did my, my practice test, but they disappeared today. All I could think about was the terrible timer ticking that terrible tick 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 what happened are math facts erased from my mind while i sleep why does two times three suddenly look like an alien message that only scientists can de decipher time's up mrs tapel announced i was the last one to hand in my paper and i still had 20 problems to go just when i thought things couldn't get any worse David Peterson whispered, Max, Max, last in math. In the lunchroom after math class, during physical education and art, David continued to tease me. He will not stop. Does embarrassing me make David Peterson feel important for some reason? I chanted. The chanting started again, up again during recess, as I knew it would. The chanting was so loud that even the preschool class could hear it. They thought it was okay to chant along. Max, Max, last in math. After school, I went straight home to do my homework. And the day got even worse. I couldn't find my math folder. I emptied my, mat, my backpack to search for it, which wasn't such a bad idea. I needed to get rid of a few things. Mom, I can't find my math folder. I admitted it was a little embarrassing. Max, you are going to have to be more responsible with your schoolwork, especially your math materials, she replied. Sometimes I get the feeling that my mom and dad are disappointed in me. I know they love me, but I want them to be proud of me too. Maybe I'm just disappointed in myself. Time math facts have ruined everything. Max, Mrs. Topel and Mr. Singleton have asked us to attend a meeting. They want to discuss your math performance. I'm sure that everything will be just fine. Remember, Max, your dad and I are proud of your hard work. You may just need a work. You may just need to work a little harder, my, my mom said with a smile. My parents had been encouraging about the conference but I was nervous when it was time to meet a few days later. I expected Mrs. Tapel and Mr. Singleton to tell my parents that I was the worst math student they've ever taught at Perryville Elementary School. The fateful day arrived. Mr. and Mrs. Le Leonhard, thank you for taking the time to meet with us today, Mr. Singleton said with a serious voice. About two weeks ago, I found Max's math folder in the hallway. I didn't return it because I was very surprised by the math ex exercises math Max has been working on, he added. 
We thought it was important that we discuss Max math ability with you, Mrs. Tapel said. Math ability, I thought. What math ability? I'm always the last one to finish my math facts. I guess it's the lack of ability we'll be discussing. I knew this conference wouldn't be good. How long has Max been practicing algebra? Mr. Mr. Singleton asked. Algebra? There must be a mistake, my dad said. Max is only in third grade. My mom looked confused. Max, what is Mr. Singleton talking about? Algebra is something I do for fun. It's like a puzzle. I finished my older brother Eric's pre-algebra book last year, so sometimes I borrow his algebra book. If he does, if he isn't using it, of course, I said. All this time, we've been concerned about Max's math performance. He has struggled with memorizing multiplication facts all year, my dad said. Max is the type of math student who understands how numbers work together. He may not be the type of student who learns by memorization. Some people are great at memorizing all sorts of information, while others are great at understanding information. If I could choose between the two, I would rather have students understand mathematics, Mr. Singleton said. Does this mean that Max would move ahead to algebra, my dad asked. We will need to be sure that Max has a complete understanding of the math concepts leading up to algebra. Max will spend some time of Max will spend some of his time with algebra with the algebra class so he can build on what he has mastered, said Mr. Singleton. I also would like him to join our math team. He would make an excellent addition. Me? On the math team? This is the strangest thing I've ever heard, I said. Not really, Max. You seem to be an algebra whiz. Let's give it a try, my dad added, quite proudly. Well, I'll maybe I'll give it a try, I said, but only under one condition. No timer.